All right, hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, tonight we are playing Palea. I am so excited. I, we're gonna see how this goes because Palea servers have been down basically since this morning, like when I got into work today, they had to take the servers down because they were having some like critical errors where the server was not tracking people's progress. Like it would, you'd have product or, or progress erasing going on where it like erased their progress and like quests and like inventory and stuff like that. And it has been down literally until like 30 minutes ago. Um, so we are just gonna test it out we're gonna see how it goes no guarantee it doesn't do glitches to us too if it does we will just switch uh like and play sims tonight um and do paleo again tomorrow um so no guarantee it's not gonna mess with us too but i just i think it's worth it i've been so excited for paleo for like weeks i only found out about it a few weeks ago and then i can't believe i already got into the closed beta like i thought i was gonna have to wait to the open beta but they went ahead and, and sent me the email last week so that was really exciting um and so yeah like and things have been so unstable like i i technically got the email invite on friday but i'd already had friday's stream set out so i just didn't do it friday and then they literally haven't been able to send out any more beta invite emails since friday because 
things have been kind of unstable. So like I said, no guarantee we're not going to deal with some glitches ourselves tonight too, but I just want to at least try it because I have been looking so forward to it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and see it is right here. I'm so excited. Okay. But while, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and fade out my music really fast. Um, and then while, uh, so while I'm logging in, I'm just going to Hold on, we're just gonna go back to the talking uh, screen while I log in real quickly just for, okay, just cause I wanna just be safe. My um, email is my like standard email. Okay, yes. But my email is my like channel email, but I just wanna double make sure that my password like didn't leak or anything. Okay. Um, excellent. Announcements. Welcome home. We're honored to welcome you into Paleo's Closed Beta. Before you embark on your adventure, here are a few things to keep in mind. The NDA has been lifted, so the people who were playing in Alpha had an NDA, but that has been lifted. Uh, feel free to stream and share your experience. Find information on gameplay and development at paleo.com slash news. Join the community with the Discord. I am part of the Discord. I'd recommend joining it if you're just curious about watching what's going on. Um, and then they've got a support. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We can't wait to see you in Paleo. And I'm only going to show new announcements. Wonderful. Log in. Okay. A photosensitivity warning. Everybody, like, if you have photosensitive issues, listen up. So we want everyone to have a safe and enjoyable experience in Paleo. If you or a loved one has epilepsy, please be aware that some individuals may experience seizures or other symptoms when exposed to certain light patterns or flashing lights. To ensure your safety, please check in with a physician before playing Paleo if you have a history of epilepsy or seizures. And the following precautions may help reduce the risk of seizures. Sit at least two feet from the screen in a well-lit room. Reduce the brightness of the screen. Do not play while tired. Look away from the screen every once in a while and take frequent breaks. Cover one eye while playing and turn the game off if you feel any symptoms of seizure and seek medical attention so i actually really like that they included that i'm always super into like games being inclusive and that's really good so yeah if you have photosensitivity just be careful um but i don't accept i do maybe have a migraine going on right now but that's fine uh we'll just we're gonna get into it i'm so excited Okay, village values. Be a responsible neighbor. We'll take care of ourselves and our emotions responsibly as we play. We'll use the tools provided to us in game to keep everyone, including ourselves, safe. And we'll protect our personal information and we will not ask other players to share theirs. So this is, Paleo is going to be an MMO. So we actually are going to be interacting with people from all like all around so that's cool that they have rules and stuff like that so be a kind neighbor we'll embrace diversity and reject discriminatory language behavior and bigotry and build a kinder world hand in hand and we'll work together to uphold a welcoming tolerant inclusive community and be a helpful neighbor every pay player is new at some point in their paleo journey and that's okay we'll work together to help new players and we'll welcome them into paleo and the community okay i agree now oh. where should i start Ooh. Oh, I forgot to put subtitles on. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I'll do that once this is over. Oh. Okay, hold on. Can we... No. Basically, if you didn't hear it, it said, to where should I start? Um, let me see. I don't know if it, like subtitles are automatically on. We're going to find out. But we are in the character creator, which I have seen some people use. So time to spend way too much time. I already have somewhat of an idea of what I want. I'm a little louder than the game. Okay, I will bump the game just a little bit. There we go. Okay, um, let's see. So choose a body type. So I'm gonna go with a female body type. Amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, continue. Okay, wow, face shape. Okay, so we've got a few different options here. Got kind of a rounder, cheekbones. Let's see. We're going to be able to change a lot of these things. Um, so for now, we do have to be careful because for now, um, you can't go back in and change this later. Um, in the future, they're going to make it available. But just right now, while it's still in beta, they don't have that availability yet. I think I'm going to start with this for now because I have kind of like a, uh, a heart-shaped face shape in real life. So I think that's kind of what I'm going to aim for for now. Skin tone, definitely lighter for sure. Let's see. Yeah, let's go a little more peachy. I have kind of like an orangey, peachy undertone in real life. They gave you a lot of eye options, which I think is cute. I'm just kind of torn. Do I want to go like hazel, like my real eyes? Or do I want to go like something cool like gold? I don't know. Hi, baby. The kitty has returned. She's in her chair. She's a sweet baby. I love you. Okay, let's see. Let me, let me do like the hair and stuff first before I make those kind of decisions just because I want to see so yeah they have a lot of hair options um but i think gosh that's kind of fun too isn't it 
I'm torn between that and the pig. I think I'm going to go the pigtails. The pigtails are just so cute. I love pigtails a lot. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. So they do have a few dye options, don't they? Hair dye patterns. We've got that. And then we've got all over. So that's just a solid color, huh? Um, I kind of wish they had more of like an ombre look because it's typically what like my preference is. I guess we'll go with that and then maybe like get some. I kind of want my secondary color maybe to be like a more. Oh, that's that's the. Okay, so that's the secondary color I see. Yeah, I guess like a comment criticism is I kind of wish that they had more of like a range in bright colors. A lot of this reminds me of um, Dreamlight. Like they're, the, the way that the characters look remind me a lot of Dreamlight, which is not a criticism. I think it looks great actually. Um, but I wish there was like, Dreamlight had some really vibrant hair colors. So I do wish there was um, more of like a hair color vibrancy options. Let's see, we've got kind of this platinum, blonde, chestnut. I'm just trying to find like a good base color. That's like honey, yeah, that's ginger. Let's see, we'll do honey and then we're gonna like play around with, I kind of list, cause I'm what, I'm, what I'm hankering for right now is that in Dreamlight I have that like orangey color and I kinda, they've got that ginger. That's not really the vibe I'm looking for, I think. Let me see. I've got like a platinum color. That's kind of a vibe. Let me see. I'm just I'm just playing around with this. Well, the blue's kind of cute. Or that's a green, I guess. The green's kind of cute. That's like a sage. Ooh, that's. And now I'm just clicking through to see what's a vibe. The blue's cute. Bubble gum. That's kind of interesting. Just give me a minute. We're gonna spend way too much time in the character creator because that's just how we roll. The ginger, what else was? It was like the blue, the, the green was kind of a vibe. I think maybe I might go green. That's a little fantasy, but like, Paley does seem to be a little fantasy. So I'm kind of down for that. Okay, I think I'll maybe I think I'll maybe go the green. That's kind of like unique because I think the sage is also cool if I want to go more neutral. Hmm. Which do you think is better, like the sage or the dark green? There's black. Um, I think hmm, because the sage is more neutral, but the green kind of pops. I think maybe I'll stick with the sage for now, just because that's more neutral and kind of blends in. And then maybe we can go for the dark green if I end up changing my mind. Um, okay, we have hair. <laughs> so now we can actually go back and play with uh, play with the stuff. Okay, so face shape. Um, I think I like that face shape. I think that feels right. And then eyes. That's kind of more of like, that's like emerald green. Kind of looking for more, maybe that color. I think that matches maybe like the, the, the hair streak a little bit better. Games don't really have a very good selection of hazel usually I found, but I mean, hazel's also tricky because it depends on like if your eyes are color changing hazel or not, because mine are. So, okay. Uh -oh. I gotta pick the voice. <laughs> That's koi. Ah, oh, those are the masculine voices. Hi, Savvy. How are you doing? We are playing Palea in the closed beta. I'm very excited about it. Now I'm like... Now I'm second guessing the hair color. Hold on. Maybe... Gosh, is the green too much? That's just what I'm trying to decide is if the green's too much or not. Like the dark green. Or I could just go with like a totally different color altogether. Oh gosh. I think maybe I like the sage for now. I'm torn between this one. That's like kind of cheerful. That's really kawaii. 
I think we'll set that one for now. And then um, once we do the outfit, I'll see what maybe fits a little bit better. But hey, Savvy, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, gosh, outfit picks. Oh, they have like Acolyte, Islander. Okay, gosh, we have so many options. Studious. Interesting. I like like the kind of like the wing pattern. Modernist. Oh. Oh, it's just like the same. It's just a little bit flipped. Um, I'd like to give a suggestion that use tags like small streamer, new streamer, I guess to help more people find you because at least I find people using those a lot. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I'll definitely do that. I use those tags on like my Instagram posts, but I can definitely use that here too. The dragon tea. The dragon tea is kind of classic. I'm not going to lie. Smoky tea around town. Interesting. Velvet fit and flare. That's very classy. Oh, look at that little like bustle with a skirt in the back. That's kind of classy. Got that. Brocade and boss. Ride the wave. Greener pastures. Plant parent. Oh, that's kind of cozy looking. Outdoorsy. Daydream. Promenade. Simply stitched. Rough hewn. Yeah, we've got these dresses too. But these aren't personally, they're not my vibe. Like... Oh, you've been good? That's good to hear. I am doing okay. I've got a little bit of a headache today. We've kind of had some like crazy weather today, but other than that, I'm doing all right. Clo cozy flannel, just like a little undershirt. Those are kind of cool, light and breezy. Oh, these are kind of nifty. I like how these seem to be drawing inspiration from a lot of different cultures, which is really nice. They've kind of got like a cozy top, I think. Actually, shockingly enough, I think I kind of like the plant parent one. Let's see. I'm going for kind of a green vibe in this one, apparently. It's just sort of kind of, so that's tops and there's bottoms. Oh gosh. Yeah, getting used to all of these different equipment options. Oh, fun and flounce, it's a little skirt. Interesting. Oh, and I guess they have like different shoe options as well. Tranquility. Oh, there's kind of a boots vibe. Cozy flannel and stirrups. Yeah, I'm kind of down for that. Got, these are more hiking pants vibes, I think. Oh yeah, there's a plant parent set that kind of like goes with the top. Ooh. Ooh, those are some fancy, fancy boots for the velvet fit and flare. That's like a little bit too much tights for me. Um around town. Oh, that's also kind of a bop. I'm not super mad at that. Well, let me go back and play with the top real quick and see if we can't figure out what color I'm kind of going for. It almost feels a little bit like a hoodie, almost. I don't know if maybe it's my... Oh, my hair is actually kind of poking through, isn't it? I thought, for some reason, I thought that was part of the outfit and not like just the hair clipping. Maybe not that one then, since the hair's clipping really badly on that one. You know, I'm not typically a cropped person, but maybe, maybe I am slightly drawn to these just a little bit. I'm going to be honest that a lot of these outfits are maybe not necessarily my personal vibe, but like, they'll be fun to play around with for now. And they're going to add more later from what they've said. Um, I kind of hate that I like this one a little bit, honestly. I don't want to go with the same. I always make the same character. Which is like a cozy, like, green-based. We could go with these, maybe. Nature spun and simple linen. I mean, this these tunics are kind of nice. Color. Interesting they haven't named them. They're just like color 8, color 6, color 7. Um. Hmm. Okay, now I'm sitting here. Now, I do know you can change your clothes later. Like, I don't have to be this beat up over trying to make sure they're perfect. Looks like they kind of have the same color scheme through most of them. Well, that's kind of a vibe. I think maybe I'll go with this tunic. It's kind of a vibe. And I like the... Is it like a leaf or a fire pattern? It looks like it's a leaf pattern on the front. Um, I think I actually might go with that blue. I think that's kind of cute. So now we'll just play around with the bottoms. A uh, face mask. Oh, there's no mask yet. It's just the, the glasses. Um, let's see. I mean, these pants are kind of a vibe, but maybe not, doesn't fit with these quite as well. Yeah, that is an outdoorsy look, all right. Um, 
stirrups, cozy element, or cozy flannel. Let's see. Orchard. Yeah, I feel like these are more like Eastern Asian inspired potentially, which I think is really interesting. Um, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. I'm just trying to make sure that, uh, well, that's not terrible. I'm trying to make sure that I have kind of the outfit that I, I like the vibe of. Actually, I kind of like that. Let's play around with the color set for that. Blue, purple, green. Actually, I think maybe that kind of works a little bit. Oh, now I'm second question. <laughs> now I'm double guessing myself, but I guess we can always change our like outfit later. So, oh, and now we're doing makeup. Okay. Okay. Looks like you can't really change the color for now. It just changes the eye shape. I'm still not mad at that. Okay, that's kind of a cat eye. Very lash heavy. Um. Oh goodness. Let's see. Just a slight little wing, bigger wing, biggest wing. I think I might honestly be into biggest wing a little bit. I don't know if I'm super into the cat eye or not. Cat eye plus wing. Do I want lashes though? Let's see. Um, oh, hold on. Let me just make sure this is turned off. Oop. Sorry. Um, maybe lashes? I feel like those look kind of friendly, I guess. That might be kind of nice. Let's maybe see it from a distance. Ooh. Can we go out? Yeah, I think that's good for now. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I think that's good for now because uh, I know we can't change it for now, but at least the outfit we can change. So, well, hold on. Yeah, I think I like that. I have to commit. Okay, you'll not be able to change your body type, face, skin tone, eye color, or voice after your character's created. This functionality will add in a future update. Actually, that does, that's good. That does remind me. I want to check the voice again. Yeah, I think I kind of like the cutesy voice better. Let's do that. Okay. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, okay. So, <laughs> we have to, so the full name, um, so full name is what everyone else is going to see. And the nickname is going to be the, uh, what characters call you. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see. And then they said don't use your real name, but like my real name is a part of my channel. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if I should like alter it. I guess I'll, I guess I'll do this for now. I think it'll be fine. Okay. All right. As Amy's Adventures. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. We're getting started. Ooh. Time for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. I wonder who's speaking. Interesting. I'm so excited to find out the story of this game. Like I know there's a story and I'm so, so looking forward to it. Let's see. Cutscene. Can I pause it yet? I can't. The narrator does give Fairy Godmother vibes. I completely agree. Ooh. Ooh, it's a phoenix. Oh, oh God. Whoa, board. Oh, that's us. That's me. Right into the arms of the Phoenix. Whoa. There we go. There we are. Oh, hi. Hey. You have so much to learn. Oh, Gina. Oh, my dragon. 
Are there dragons in this game? Please. I would love if there was dragons in this game. Please, please let there be dragons. Did, did, did you just materialize from nowhere? Okay, so we have, okay, Gina seems nervous about getting to know you. No romance, but it looks like she's romanceable. You can't give this, gift this villager a gift right now. Learn what the villager wants this week. Okay, I honestly have no idea. More like us from the spiraling pink void. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. And while I'm here, aren't I? Wait, okay, hold on. Airtight personalities are laid back and free spirited. They never take themselves or others too seriously. Show me the water type personalities. Oh, water pers type personalities are thoughtful. Oh my gosh, it's not. There we go. Introspective and emotionally sensitive. Well, intelligent. They often tend towards melancholy. Fire type personalities are friendly, brave, and easily excitable. Natural born leaders. And earth type personalities are stubborn, practical, and honest to a fault. It's like the zodiac. <laughs> I am I am astrology girl. I love zodiac zodiac stuff. Absolutely. Yes, please let me typecast my personality into elemental personalities. I'm so down. I guess we have to go with water because I am a water sign. I'm a Scorpio. I have a Leo moon and I have a bunch of like Sagittarius. So I also have fire energy too. But I am a Scorpio uh, sun and rising. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, I probably would answer. I honestly have no idea. That would probably be my real life response. Right. You probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. It's just none of the other humans knew either, which leaves me right back at square one other humans yep you're not the first human i've seen in palea just the first i've seen you know appear in a giant cocoon of light we should slow down why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to ashura the innkeeper he's been helping others like you get settled in i would help you myself and i'm working on something here and i'm this close to figuring it out i was so caught off guard i realized i forgot to introduce myself or explain why i'm here the name's gina i'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins huh, i wonder who she's apprenticed to and this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I've got to get back to, back to the grind. To back to it. <laughs> okay. Dead Wazid. Next. Um, yes, next. Look around using your mouse. Moving the mouse. Understood. Okay. All right. First off, I can't believe. Um, I want to make sure that there is subtitles. Hold on, sorry. I haven't opened this yet, so I want to make sure that, well, are there subtitles? Dialogue volume, control settings, gamepad, graphics quality. Ooh, yeah, let's let's take that to medium maybe. <laughs> um cuz I uh I think uh think it was struggling a little bit there when we first got in. Um hide chat, timestamp mode streamer okay uh okay cool good to know yeah no i think we're good then hints oh they'll like show the different hints for things okay cool all right okay and resume okay perfect all right well, looks like there isn't any official um um like subtitle settings which is a little upsetting but like you, they are giving subtitles as in like when they're talking like at you it looks like they have like the dialogue box but it would be nice if they could also have subtitles for the like spoken things because um like she just talked and said something but there wasn't subtitles for that so find Ashura and kill and Kilima Kilima okay let's talk to whoop, a little oh my goodness oh we're lagging a little bit hold on there we go Let's talk to Hecla. F to chat. Hi, hello human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Doesn't really seem to care about you one way or another. I mean, we just like spawns, so that makes sense. Your presence heralds much change in the world of Palea. What am I? Who are you? Why was your friend so freaked out? Uh, who are you, I guess? I am Hecla. It is my duty to aid and protect the young scholar known as Gina. We have stumbled upon you during a routine excavation of the ruins of this ancient human city. This occurrence comes as a great surprise to young Gina. I, on the other hand, found it inevitable. You were bound to return one day. Why not today? Return. Good to my Gina. Okay. Interesting. All right. Gosh, this is big. Oh, I like, like, the purple fire coming out. Okay. This is just, I wonder if this is just... Yeah, random stuff that they're taking a look at. Ooh, it's big. This is like um, giving me big um, temples and Tears of the Kingdom vibes. It's pretty. Doesn't look like there's too much around here. We'll go out the front. 
Okay, jumping and climbing. Some obstacles can be jumped by pressing a space bar and press to toggle sprint and get a longer jump. Okay, someone's going to climb by using W. Good to know. Yes, we do have an obligatory jump. Okay, and then press W. Ooh. Okay, hold on. There we go. Ooh, we're having a little bit of lag. Okay, and then we just go up. All right. Looks like we have a little um, like guide up top telling us. Oh, and we also have the like the day day night cycle up in the uh, upper right hand corner. Okay, here we go. Whoop! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Definitely have some stuttering, but that's all right. Pelia. Amazing. Oh, there's a waterfall. Oop. Kami no baka. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ooh, we, we, we're getting some stuttering, but that's okay. Let's see. So I guess we're just going to make our way down to the village. Also gives me big Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild vibes when you like run out onto the, um, the ledge and see everything. Oh, we can sprint. This is good. This is good news. Good news. Okay, there's just like a waterfall around here. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can. Sorry, I have not opened. Maybe let's turn the camera shake off. Um, I'm just trying to get this to stabilize a little bit. Um, resolution the game's rendered at. It's interesting that they have high, low, and epic and medium. Okay. We'll try that and see if that helps. Okay. Well, it looks like I guess we could go either way. There's a little purple over here and stuff and a little fire. Interesting. I wonder if that can be like a thing later. We have someone running around with us. Oh, we are having a lot of lag. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if that's a me problem, like my computer problem, or if that's like the game being new and having server issues today. Uh, chain? Chine? Beautiful day, is it not? Another child of the phoenix joins our little village. I was right, it was a phoenix. I must say, today is a lovely day to be born. Chain is there for you and any other village in need. Oh, I wonder if he's like a priest. I am Chain, the local ritual sage and devotee of Manji, the great dragon. There are dragons! Yes! Wonderful! <laughs> That's all I need to know. It's my job as Kilima's, Kilima's healer and sage to care for our villagers both physically and spiritually. So how are you feeling? I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. This world is amazing or it's a little overwhelming. I think the world's amazing. I'm glad to hear it. Keep that positivity and you'll overcome any troubles the world offers you. I do not know why the gods brought you here, but I'm sure there must be some great plan in store. I look forward to seeing it. Oh, oh, hey, I think we uh, upgraded our like friendship with him a little bit. Now you want to speak to Ashura before you do anything else. Just take this path towards the village. He'll be in the big building with the keg out front. Okay. Be careful out there. I will. Good to know. And thank you for the guide. Let's see. Yeah, I, a lot of people were saying this is, um, a press enter to chat. Interesting. So, yeah, there is a chat. So, that'll be definitely something to get used to. I'm not super used to playing MMO games. I've never played, like, WoW. The only MMO I've really played, frankly, is, like, Sky. And Sky is a little bit of, like, an unusual MMO. It's not, like, what I would really call, like, a normal MMO. Just because you don't chat very often. So, okay. Oh, there's some. there's someone here. Tish. Hi, Tish. Hi. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Tish seems to love her job of making and selling quality furniture. Are you new in town or are you just passing through? I just moved in and I just materialized from a void. I would say I just moved in. So exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Well, more than a little in his case. But if you need any help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I've known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Good to know. I'll see you around. Perfect. New friends. But yeah, a lot of people were saying that this is definitely like Dreamlight merged with WoW. And I can definitely agree with that. I wonder what's in here. What's well, like a library? That's cute. Can you read anything? No, maybe not. That's okay. I'm just exploring. We'll, we'll go to the uh, 
to the um the inn and meet Ashura. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Hi everybody. Oh, there's Oh. Ah, great day for a run. Nio? I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Nio? Oh hi, you must be a new new in town. I'm Nio. Oh, he's romanceable. And the oldest son of the local farming family wants to do everything he can to make you feel at home. My family runs the Daya Farm over on the west side of Kilma. Kilma, if you need someone to show you around the barn or teach you how to ride a riff rock, I'm your guy. A what? A riff rock? I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff, so if you need anything heavy lifted, or if you need anything heavy lifted. Oh, and here's a carrot for Sugarfoot. Give her one of those and you'll be her new best buddy. Sugarfoot? Back to my workout. Okay, is Sugarfoot near here? I don't know what Sugarfoot is. Oh, it looks like this is a furniture store. That's good to know. Oh, yes, there is furniture. A bench, a barrel, a standing lamp. Oh, some like log cabin lamps. No one at the counter, but I haven't met the, you know, official guy yet. So like we have to go talk to him for his alarm clock. Oh, that's kind of cute. The alarm clock's like, oh, it looks like the, um, the clock that we have up top. The, like the, the way that it's rotating from night to day. That's fun. Okay, they said go straight on, and he's... There's the barrel. Yep. We'll just head right towards that barrel, then. I love these little signs outside. Okay. Oh, and there's, like, a little, like... I guess maybe, like, aqueduct or overflow? That's cute. Okay, let's meet Ashura. I think they said his name was. Hello. Not a lot of people in here right now. Chat. Take a load. Welcome to Killama. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. Let's see. Ashura is happy to welcome you to the neighborhood. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. I'm not the camping type. I'm just glad I have a place to sleep. I would want someone to set me up with a place to sleep and something to eat if I materialize out of nowhere. Why would I not do the same for you? Well, that's awful nice of you. So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pig. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Make okay, we got to make the most of each day. Make the most of each day. We've got to make shift axe. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is. Those are like horns. Is there an upstairs? Well, he said there wasn't any room in the inn. Oh, that's cool. Just random paintings of the area. He said there wasn't any rooms, but I'm going to explore anyway because I'm nosy. Oh, well, there is a room. Just must not be open right now. Interesting. Oh, that's like an interesting tapestry on the walls. Oh, it's flowers. For some reason, I thought that was like weird little fish. I've been watching too much anime lately. I thought it was like weird little fish like munching on stuff. All the rooms probably look pretty similar. I'm just, I'm just nosy. I'm snooping around. Okay, we'll go, we'll go find um, the mining gentleman. Oh, there's like some paintings of him and some locals. That's nice. Ooh, is that like, ooh, is that like chess? That's nifty. Lo, well, it's literally 3D chess. Okay, haha, I get the joke. I don't know if they meant it to be the joke or not. Oh, Kenley. Kenley. Let's have a proper chat. Greetings, I am the only Honorable Kenley Bahari. Let's see. Uh, Kenley is happy to welcome you into the village, but not happy enough to force the issue with Eshi. Okay. The firstborn son of the late Kinjan Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari Providence, and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari Province. Okay. I am mayor of this fine village. Okay, so he's the mayor. And it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. Okie dokie. <laughs> he's he's hangry. Okay, we needed to go. It looks like directly out of the village, so we'll just we'll just make our way up there. Get our uh, home plot. Excited to build on home plot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start wrapping my head around who's like an actual NPC and who's um other players. Figuring that out is gonna get interesting. This place is big. Well, we're still going straight up, straight north, north. It's not north. It's like northeast. North by northeast. Yeah, we're still going up that way, so that's good. There's so many burps. All the bird chirping. Oh, yes. I can sprint. I apologize. I forgot this. <laughs> oh, we're booking it. Okay. Oh, nice little arches. I love the little, like, leaf symbol thing that they have going on. 
just gonna book our way up here. Okay. A little horse ranch symbol. And we're in. Okay, we're walking slow. Cutscene. Okay. Oh, okay. Is this our home plot? Looking around. Oh. What are those? Ooh. It's in kind of a bad condition, huh? Ooh. Whale. Hi. Yes, hello. Hi, are you Hodari? What is it? Oh, yes you are. Hmm, it's coming along. A lot of trash left though. Oh, hi. Hodari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do for you? You can t <laughs> You can tell me how you got those biceps. Oh, uh Mostly for mine, and I guess he's not enthused. <laughs> Hodari seems like the kind of neighbor who's always willing to lend a hand. Good. I would appreciate some hands lent. Uh, here, if you're interested in working out, why don't you take this pick? Oh, you think I'm interested in working out? Okay, I mean, maybe. I see you got an axe already. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would you? Okay, I, I will anything for you, sir. Mine is hungry work, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. Daughter, okay, good to know. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Hover over tool and release R to equip it. Try gathering stone from the nearby rock debris. Press and hold to use equip a tool. R to switch another tool. Get wood. Press F to gather items you created. Okay. All right. We're gonna press and hold R. I have to remember where R is because my microphone is blocking my keyboard. Clink, 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 clink. Nice. And then loot. Got it. One ancient thing, two stone and something else. You want me to clear? Uh, yep, don't mind me. Um, just clear some debris. I think I'll do, hit like a tree after this just so we can get some wood. Get some variety going. Okay, busted. We're gonna get the loot. And then it was R to switch back to the ax. Oh, okay. Wah, wah, oh, that was easy. Okay, and then loot. Okay, and then can I put this away? No, I feel like X, X was put it away, cool. Hi, Hodari, I did. Nope, I, that didn't count, apparently. Hold on, <laughs> why did that not count? Um, maybe they want me to clear like debris versus just trees. Oh, there's a little mushroom back there. That's kind of cute. There's a big old mushroom. Okay, we got that. Loot, loot. Okay, that counted at least. Maybe I'll try uh, some of this wood right here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, okay, Oop. And then loot. Okay, yes, return to Hodari. Put that axe away first. There we go. Okay. Hi, I finished. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Huh. Found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot, after all. I got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to get, keep your things before you grow and worry about glowing tubes. Okay, your action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two using wheel mouse. Use the pips to keep track of what action bar is displayed. The items in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Place items you can use or consume on your action bar for ready access. Okay, bye. You're still here, huh? Don't leave, please. Uh, select workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Press to enter placement mode. Rotate the station using Q and E. Press again to make the final placement. Okay, well, let me hope. Okay, good. Because I'm like, my hotkey, I have a hotkey um, <laughs> for my, uh, um, I have hotkeys for my PNG tuber. And I was like, oh no, I hope that doesn't interfere. It's fine. It doesn't, it's the top row of uh, keys and not the numpad, which is what I have the PNG tuber bound to. Um, okay, I've already forgotten what he told me, what they told me to do. Oh, okay. Eight, and then use. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Q and E. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess I'll just maybe I'll set it like right here. 
just to get started. There we go. Okay. Craft a wooden storage chest and place your wooden storage chest. Wooden storage bin and makeshift tent. I got that, but I need more wood. Okay. I guess we will get to uh, chopping then. Bonk. Whack. 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 That's like a solid whack right there. And then... Yeah, I guess sort of like our uh, vibe number one is that we need to clear off our plot so that we have space. Loot. Can I do... Yes, I can. Whack. Whack. Okay, grab that. Sap wood and plant fiber. Interesting. Um, do I have enough yet? No, I still need more. That's okay. We can just sort of get to work on clearing our plot. I think I have heard rumor that uh, Hodari is single, but um, he's not romanceable. But I also have heard that that's with a caveat of yet. Um, and they've said that the characters that are romanceable now aren't necessary. Like, the, there are characters now that aren't romanceable that could potentially be romanceable in the future if they decide to change that. So I'm down for finding that out. Because, uh... Odari is uh, more fine than he has any right to be. If you catch my drift. He's the end. Let's see. Um, craft items. Yes, I have a chest. Wonderful. Bang, bang. <laughs> I always love the ferocity with which uh, characters can... Like, I love it in games where characters are like whack, whack, whack when they're like making stuff. I think that's cute. Um, I think this is the, that's the front orientation. Okay. Um, okay. Storage solution quest completed. Craft a tent at the workbench and then place your tent. Okay. So we can put stuff in storage, which is good. Um, uh, that's the two hot bars. That's inventory. Can we put stuff into the storage? Okay. Stuff is in the storage. Plant fiber. I'll leave the wood on me because I don't know. Actually, I might put the um the mysterious object TM. Ancient thing. It's clear what this thing it's unclear what this thing is meant to be, but it sure looks important. And ancient. Maybe someone will know what it does. Okay, we'll put that in there. But I think we'll leave this is grilled mushroom. Oh yeah, he gave me some food. I forgot. Munch on these mushrooms, grill over campfire, focus points. Good to know. Carrot. Yummy. Flint. Okay, I'll hang on to like the, maybe I'll hang on to the crafting items. I need to see what the tent takes to make. Okay, we need rope, we need wood. Okay, so we're actually, we are almost there. I mean, I'll need somewhere to put the tent, so we might spend some time clearing it out. Whack. 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 Pick that up. Loot. Loot. I wonder what, like, the, um, old, like, all the, like, wooden debris and stuff. I wonder what used to be here. They probably will not tell us. I just, <laughs> I just think it's interesting. Oh, we got some dong-dongs. Dong-dong. Oh, is that, like, telling us it's getting to be nighttime? I mean, the sun is going down in-game. Yeah, I don't see a stamina bar anywhere, which is really nice. Looks like we can just kind of go, at least not yet. Looks like we can just kind of go as far as we want, which is nice. We'll just clear off a good spot to place our tent because I think from what I've seen, it's pretty big. I know, love. What? The child is here. Hi. I'm going to go for a little while. We're, just, we're streaming. Oh, she, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, honey. She's got some sinus issues sometimes and so she gets sneezy. I will help her with that later. I massage little um, acupressure points on her nose, and she does not like it very much, but it helps. Um, there's little acupressure points on her nosy that I can give a little massage, and that helps a little. Okay, and then we're going to get this. Oh my god, wrong direction. We're really putting our whole back into that swing. Crack. Ugh. Okay, got that loot. Um, and I think we'll just keep working on getting like a space cleared. We'll make the tent in a second because I think we have enough wood now. But I'm just, we're going to get enough space cleared for us to do that. Okay, and then we'll do back to the axe. I 
I think they said you should be able to like share your plots with friends or in, in, which is interesting. We'll find out how that all works. Okay, let's see, craft items. Oh, not that. Um, we're new craft, yes. Um, ready to craft, good. Build a tent. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, makeshift tent, seven. Oh, E.T.'s Lorge. You don't own this land yet. Oh, interesting. Okay, dang. Talk to Anui when he visits your plot. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Chat. Howdy. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's cute. Anui. Whoa, good. You haven't left yet. He seems enthusiastic about getting to know you. My mom, Del Delalia? Delalia? Told me there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kilima. Oh, that's sweet. And I wanted to have your mail. I'm a newie, and I handle all of the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who likes getting mail. I love getting mail. Mm -hmm. Good. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on. Go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Butter. Back tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. Open mailbox. New. Einar. Dear Amy, I've been informed that you, by Gina, that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Einar, and I would like to share with you the joys of fishing. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. <laughs> I know. Oh, he looks cute. And then uh, Hassan or Hassan, Hass Hassan, Hassan. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to look and see what the actual like official pronunciation for these names are. Uh, to whom it may concern, City Hall requires that I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow instead of arrows at the in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I'm available to tutor you in their use during work hours. You can find me in Kilma Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Cool. Good to know, buddy. Um, oh, I gotta collect the attachments first. Boop, boop, boop. And then he did he attach a rod. Yes. Marcus red. And then Marcus red. He sounds grumpy. Well, I have a fishing rod and um fishing rod and a a, a, a bow and arrow. I mean, they were gonna teach me how to use it, but it is kind of late at night. So I think maybe we'll just like, you know, work on clearing the plot for now and then try to see if we can't deal with that in the morning butter we have makeshift arrow okay stone and then i'm gonna put the flint in here and maybe the carrot focus point i'm not sure what focus points are we're gonna figure that out later um but i guess we can just keep working our plot until daytime rolls around looks like it's evening oh okay loot um oh return to anyway okay oh, we're supposed to keep talking to him oopsie how's it going so how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. Okay. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever do is to seem, find, seem to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Oh, wow. What does it do? I have no idea. Looks suspiciously like the artifact from the Palea trailer um, that exploded at the end like fireworks. So we'll find out that's, that's you know, that's going to happen. Um, hmm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Oh, yeah. I almost forgotten all the excitement. I bought a pre I bought a present for you, too. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Kilima's best and only bug catching club. Okay. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. Good, a lot of information. Good to know. A smoke bombs, makeshift bell, standard smoke bomb. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Are they up at this time of night, though? It's like 8 p.m. <laughs> I guess we'll find out later. Oh, they've got like a whole shipping bin and stuff. Open general store it or sales bin coin purse running flat place items in the sales bin and they'll be sold soon items are picked up for sale each morning and evening you will get paid when you return home okay on, out on the town shots will buy the same sort of items as they sell as long as it's business hours zeke's general store zeals in the widest variety of things understood okay shipping bin i figured um mail let's see if there's like any more crafting tents makeshift arrows smoke bombs decor Wooden storage bin. No, that looks like to be about it. Well, I guess maybe we'll just sort of like hang around at nighttime and then like the next morning we'll uh, we'll try to 
figure out what's going on. I might leave like a couple of trees up just because they're cute. But then also they said you don't own this land yet. I'll be interested to find out if we're able to expand our plot more than we already have. Got that. Um, focus. Plus 15 focus. Interesting. Um, pick. Bang. Bang. I'm definitely the kind of person that when I start Stardew, I'll like spend the first two, few days just clearing my land because I want to. And I like having things be neat and clean. Boom. Yeah, definitely a good idea. Standing on top of the thing you're trying to break. Whack. Whackus. I might leave that little mushroom though. It looks really cute. Oh, is it like glowing? Hold on. Loot. Is it kind of giving off a little bit of a glow? Mountain Morel. Or mor moral? Morel. Yeah. Oh, okay. We gathered it. We're good. All right. Whack. Time ticks by a little bit more slowly than I thought it was going to. I kind of wish they'd given me like a bed, but you know, probably eventually. Whack. Okay. All right. So it looks like there's a foraging element with the mushrooms anyway. Loot. Morel. Okay. I'll leave like one or two rocks here and there just to be kind of decoration and aesthetic. Oh, they want me to leave the housing plot. I see that now. Yes, we will do that in just a second. It's just nighttime, so I don't know if anybody's going to be out and about. Um, we'll grab that. We'll leave these just for aesthetic. And we'll clear this area back here real quick. Whack. Okay. Grab that. Tree chopper one. You chopped down and looted 30 trees. Oh, it's like a whole press U to you view accomplishment. Oh my goodness. Okay. Got to get paid. You take on jobs. Tales of a legend. Earn renown. Interesting. Oh, there's whole like, oh, there's whole like stuff to it. Angler, cook, gardener, miner, bug catcher, forager, furniture maker, metal earner, weekly challenge conqueror, aggressively generous. You know what I want. I'll give them uh, gifts. Rare bug, epic bug, oh, bug collector, rare fish, epic fish. Makeshift is all mine. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many. They're my first tilling disc. Oh my god, there's so many. Housing slots, pebbled plunder. Dang. Okay, well, there's a lot. Wait, 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 wait. I saw a thing. Hold on. This news. You're one of the very first players to join the world of Palea. Play enjoys enjoy this welcome gift for us. We hope it makes your journey even more wonderful. Amazing. I will absolutely claim that. Amazing. So I got a founder, founder's windmill decor. That's, that's awesome. I'm very excited. Okay. Loot. Then we will leave our plot in the middle of the night. I, I may be overthinking this. There may be people available and I just am not, like, I don't know. But we'll, we'll go try it in a second. Okay. All right. Okay. Whack. Whack. Oh, okay. The barrels were their own standalone thing, apparently. Whack. 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 I mean, those look like breakable stuff, so I'll be interested to see if uh, we do get to expand. That would be lovely. Whack. Whack. Okay. All right. All the stuff is up now, for the most part. Got a nice little cleared out plot. That's such a big tent. Look at how big this is. I could fit a few people in here. That's exciting. Maybe some furniture. Okay. We're going to put the stuff away and then we'll leave the plot. Let's see. Oh, it looks like they do have a limit. Oh, that's the smoke bomb. I'll leave that on me. Looks like they do have a limit about how much stuff you can uh, put in at one time. So that's good to know. I'm sure you'll probably be able to expand it in the future, but uh, I'll just put that in there for now. Well, let me get this thingy. Because uh, they were talking about me showing it off or going it to show it to Gina, I think her name is. Um, what are you? Are you rocks? Stone. Yeah. Let's we'll put that away. Okay. Arranging my inventory a little bit. And then I got my arrows back there. Okay. Leave the plot. Or I'll put away. There we go. Okay. Leave the housing plot. Yeah. It looks like you might be able to like run around and forage in here. Maybe there's a little pond. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. You can just forage right straight up. That's nifty. That's cute. Okay. 
We will leave now. Go speak to some people if they are not asleep. Opening the doors. Okay. Slow down for a second. Thanks for waiting. You'll be home soon. Cute. Oh. Gotta load. Boingus. Boingus is hesitating. Okay. Oh, we're in... We are on top of somebody. Okay, ask Gina about the strange artifact. Talk to Bedrew about learning how to garden. Talk to Rath about learning how to cook. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I'll see if I can go talk to them this late at night. Let's see. Oh, is there a map? P. No. This is this is personal inventory though. Map. Um, Hecla's there. Chains there. Nio and Bedrew and Anui's awake. Um, Tish, and that's Einar, who we haven't met yet. Looks like he's down by the dock, so if we wanted to go talk to him now, I think we could. Tavern, Ashura, Reth, Taylor. Where is, where is Gina? Uh, is that Gina? Yeah, it's Gina. I mean, she's on the move, but I think we might be able to catch her. Gina, oh yes, we can run. I keep forgetting that we are, in fact, capable of running. Where was it? Uh, oh god. There are a lot of buttons going on. Um, Gina, we are here? Yes! Gina! Gina, where are you? There she is. Looks like she's going home for the night. Hey, Gina, I don't know if this is a good time, but, uh... So much to learn. So much to learn. Hey, Amy, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Really? What is it? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. Flow battery? These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Ancient humans? And you say you just found this under some old junk. Must be fate. I'm not really a believer in fate, per se, but this is some coincidence. Oh, <laughs> someone's just boinging his way back there. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Okay, cool chat with Gina. Oh my gosh, is it night already? Mm. Looking at the sky, I can deduce that yes, it's definitely night. I can't believe time got away from me like that. I, I guess you gotta get home, huh? Well, she'll send me a letter whenever she is, uh, done. So, or whenever she's figured it out. Let's see. Um, Reth, looks like Reth's asleep. I guess we could go down the Fisherman's Lagoon and meet Einar. Wait, I just... Oh my goodness, look at their cool outfit that they got on. Um, let's see. We just go down and turn. Okay. We'll go down this way and we'll go meet Einar. One just boinging around over there. Oh, hello, Gel. Chat. Oh, what a beautiful day to create art. To, uh, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company? The local clo the clothing salesman seems peculiar but intriguing. I'll chat with him. After work, I like to take long walks in nature to look for inspiration. After all, no one artist is greater than the dragon himself. Interesting. Have an inspired rest of your day. Have an inspired rest of your day. Oh, there is uh, someone chatting in the chat. Hi, baby. I know. You're cute. Let's see. Um, I think down here. Are you getting in your chair? Yeah, get comfy. We'll probably wrap up here in a minute anyway. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll go down and wait. Did I miss it? It was down by the docks. Let's check the map again. I'm still getting used to learning the area. No, we're still we're still going. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Let's see. Sundrop Lily. Oh. Okay, I got that. It turned into a gusp. Windmills. Look at how pretty those tall mountains are. Oh, is that like, is that like a depression? Like something hit it? Like a meteor crashed down or something? Huh. That's interesting. Wait, are we at the docks yet? I keep feeling like I'm getting lost. Where? P? I did. I passed it. I passed it. It's right back here, isn't it? Yes. There we go. Oh, the crickets are nice. Well, here we are. Hello, Einar. Oh, it's a little fishing area. Oh, 
Yes, more lilies. I don't know if these do anything, but I'm grabbing them anyway. They're pretty. Yeah, there's a fi oh, the fish sign is cute. Ooh, there's like a whole board. I wonder if there's like jobs. Hold on, there's a piece of bread. Is that a goose? No, it's not a goose. I don't know what that is, but there's a fishing thing. Fishing rod. Oh, there's a little fishing hut. Okay, and then read. While working for a snob like Ishii is enough to make anyone cry, I have a recipe that's sure to put tears in the eye of any chef who isn't so unfortunate. First, you must find a tender young paleon onion, then chop the un. Okay, I'm sure we'll find more scraps of that later. Let's see. Well, something said that he was down here, but maybe he left. Oh, read. Onion. Oh, half boiled. Quest complete. And saute in butter with equal parts garlic and spice sprouts. Once the mixture is fragrant, soak in water to create a rich broth. Interesting. Um, nope, not that. This. And he's gone. Oh, Jell is coming down this way. I wonder if he, yeah, looks like he went home to sleep. That's okay. Um, oh, housing plot stables? Hold on, I must know. I, someone told me to give that carrot, which I think I still have on, did I put that away? Oh, I think I put the carrot away. I forgot about the carrot being a quest item. Well, next time I'll get the, <laughs> I'll grab the carrot and bring it over here to the stables. Uh, stables, yes, but what are we riding? This is an important question. Eh. I love the little tassels hanging from the, the rooftop. Okay, is this the stables? P. We're at the stables. What do you, stables fast travel opening the stables what do you what do you stable is there any more i don't i don't see anything back here interesting but it could just be because it's nighttime who what do you stable do you stable horses seems like a lot of stuff oh it looks like we can't go in right now because it's it's nighttime i guess we'll figure that out later i'm just curious about what uh what animals they use to ride around here. Because it seems like they don't have the animals where you, like, the, the earth animals. Oh, Ken, Kenyatta. Hello. Are the hours ticking by so slowly? Sup, you're new, right? Let's see. Kenyatta's interest in you largely seems to stem from boredom with her own life. I'm Kenyatta, glorified city hall receptionist. My parents run this place. If you have a problem, you should probably go to one of them. But if you want to get up to some trouble, hit me up. Okay. I hope one of these nights I spot a beast of the Elder Woods. I know we're not in the Elder Woods, but beasts have legs too. Okay, cool. You seem too cool for your own good, which is fine. Okay, well, I think we are actually going to go ahead and end it here because I kind of have a headache tonight and have had a bit of a long day. Um, but tomorrow um, we are going to be back playing more um, Sims uh, Horse Ranch. Um, in particular, I have sort of like a, a, a legacy challenge that I think I'm looking at sort of writing for the Sims. Um, so we will back with uh, be back with that more of that tomorrow night. Um, as always, check out Amy's VODs if you want to see any of the past streams. I have them like conveniently sorted in a playlist and stuff, so it'll be really easy to find them. Um, and then uh, Amy's Adventures Gaming, my Instagram, is going to have my stream schedule every week. Um, so just go check that out if you want to uh, see what games we'll be playing. So um, thank you guys uh, so much for joining. And I hope uh, that you have a lovely rest of your evening. Bye. Have a good night.